Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack 33 and welcome to another day of Odin's collection by Capcom. Well, the game is by Capcom, I'm Odin Spack 33 I'm presenting to you the video in which you're about to watch. And I bet you're wondering, I can't understand a thing. Well, that doesn't matter, you don't need to understand this game because it's Mega... No, it's not Mega Man X3, it's Rockman X3. This is the Japanese version of Mega Man X3. Look, it's got English. It's the the uh, controls are in English, so like, what does it even matter, right? Like, you don't need to know story. This is a Mega Man game. I've already started. Uh, I got my. I think it, when you hit reset, your password saves, so I don't have to do any of that. Uh, on this video, I'm gonna try to do something, just cause. I'm already taking on Blizzard Buffalo. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to do something weird, and that there's a you can get Zero's saber. Uh, this is kind of, I guess, spoiler if you never played the game, but you can get Zero Saber later in the game. But I'm trying to do something that makes it so that you don't have to get the arm piece, and then you get the Saber. Um, I'm going to see if you can do that. So, in order to do that, I need to take on this boss here, which is Blast Hornet. So yeah, this is the Japanese version of the game, and this is the origin of my intro! How about that? And even the little icon in the top left that says Odin there. Sorry, this is Explosed Horneck, not Blast Hornet. Um, the Japanese version, like I said, has uh, different words and stuff. But I mean, look, like the weapons are in English and stuff. So it really doesn't matter. There's very little story in this game that you need to pay attention to. And before I start here, I'm going to make my game full screen. There we go. You can't see it, but it's full screen for me. It, it, like, it, it'll in no way impact your viewing experience. I don't think so, anyway. There we go. Got my weird controls set up. Works pretty good on the Super Nintendo controller. I think I liked it better using my Logitech controller, but hey, playing on the original system now, so I feel awesome. There's a uh, ride armor platform up there, but I don't got ride armor. And I can't get it, because I just realized I need a weapon. Well, that sucks. I don't know why I took on the stage then. Oh well. I'm trying to get the uh, the body piece without getting the arm upgrade, which is possible to do. Uh, but apparently, you need <laughs> stupid requirements to do it. Now you're probably wondering, like, why am I trying to do this? Well, the arm when you get the arm upgrade, you get two extra levels of charge. Now, when you have zeros. Uh, I think you have zero saber. Man, this guy's going in my face. I hate this thing. Let's just take it out really fast right now. Uh, when you have zero saber, your last charge turns to green. But it's still four charges, so I'm curious as to... Uh, like, I don't really want to look it up. I haven't really had the patience to, like, look it up. Man, this thing is wrecking my face. Can not die? Hey, thanks. Can you give me health? Ooh, a little bit. Two. Two health. I'm curious as to what happens when you have the zero saber and not the arm upgrade. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure there's no requirements for having zero saber whatsoever. Besides uh, a boss fight, you have to uh, you have to do something on. Anyway, uh, this is where I would need the weapon that I don't have, so that kind of blows health in there, so that's good. Man, I haven't done this in a while without ride armor. I'm usually not an idiot to uh, not have ride armor at this point. All you do is destroy boxes. How fun. This is like the most intriguing mini-boss ever. Let's just keep destroying boxes. Yay. So yeah, playing Rockman X3. I... I actually got this today, like in the mail. So, and of course I had to start playing it right away. And Odin's Collection was not even a, not even a question. I had to do Odin's Collection in this game. This is uh, one of my original Let's Plays, my third one. Go figure, my third Let's Play is Mega Man X3. But yeah, it's my favorite of the X series too. Little backstory. I don't know. I like the music a lot. People don't like the music as much as the other X games. I think it greatly lives up to the other X games and in some cases surpasses it. Anyway, um, there's a heart tank up here. 
Let's get some extra health. And let's go in here. Where there might be a mini boss, but there won't be, because I've only defeated one of the Mavericks in the game so far. So there's not going to be a mini boss. Man, I should have thought about taking on Tunnel Rhino first, or whatever weird name he has in the Japanese version. I don't know, it'll be tun Tunneler Drill Man or something, I don't know. If that's his name, I'll poop. <laughs> that won't be his name. But I'm going with Tunneler. I think it'll be Tunneler, not Tunnel. Or something like that. Excavation. Excavation guy. Anyway, what was this guy's name? Oh, it was Blast Hornet. I can't remember what it was. Something weird. Some strange translation they made to English. Uh, that's one thing I want to know, though. Uh, one day in uh, life. It's how to read Japanese. Uh, I know there's two different uh, fonts, I believe. There's, there's, it's not it's not just reading Japanese. There's two different fonts, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I know this because of RPG Maker, <laughs> not because of anything else. This guy really hurts you. If, uh, you get hit by him. Freaking blast hornet. You think you're all cool with being a bee and stuff. He targeted me. Get off me. I sent two after me. Alright. This guy is tough. Now uh, this this stage here is just tough to avoid him. Cause you're probably gonna get you just don't want to get hit by him. Uh the the bees I guess don't hurt you as much. But him he hurts a lot. <laughs> man, I died. This uh this game is tough. This is this Mega Man. This is the one that gives me a run for my money a lot. Uh, X4 does too, if I'm playing as Zero. That's also a really tough game, just because I'm not as used to it as the other ones. Uh, but even this game, which I've played like a ton, I've played this game a lot, uh, it still gives me, like I said, a run for my money. Well, it did give me a run for my money because I bought it! Well, I, I bought this because I only had Mega Man X3 in the X collection. So I wanted, I wanted to own the Super Nintendo version, or in this case, the Super Famicom version, because it really... Man, I can play that again. So this is... Okay. This stage here, it takes a little bit before he actually starts doing anything to you. Okay, I gotta stop running into him! Um, uh, but I wanted to own the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom version, because it sounds different, the music's different, it's original, it's not all, like... Whatever style it is, I beat Blast Hornet, so there we go. Finally. But it's different. Uh, they got like more realistic sound effects, which are pretty cool in some instances. The blaster sounds stupid. Uh, like, it sounds like gunshots, if I recall. Which is kind of dumb. But some of the remixed uh, or rearranged music is pretty nice. Anyway, we beat uh, Explosion B guy. I don't remember what it was called. It's Blast Hornet. <laughs> I'm stubborn. I see. I, all the weapons have been the same name so far. Yep, Parasitic Bomb. Like, look at that. That's like right out of Mega Man. Well, I mean, this game came first because the Japanese games usually are made before the American ones. Anyway, there's Dr. Doppler. See, I wish I could read that. Uh, back to what I was saying, though, I believe there's two different types of uh, Japanese fonts, and I only know this because of RPG Maker. I don't know what font this is. Maybe there's a common font they use. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I would really like to uh, understand it. All right, and there's uh, the mysterious Maverick, I believe they call him right now, but it's vile pretty obvious who he is. I don't know why I'm not skipping through this faster. I can't read it. <laughs> he has a vertical teleport because he's all like, I don't teleport like them. Mine's all vertical. Or, yeah. There's Dr. Doppler. I like when he sh he's like stroking his chin as he talks. That's some, that's some power right there. Power stroking of chin. Anyway, so the guy I'm supposed to be taking on is this guy here. <laughs> Who, we'll see what his name is, Tunnel Rhino. 
But I gotta let it go. I want to know what it is. Oh, look, it's my intro again. Yeah, I didn't take it from this game or anything like that. Screw Mesodea. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course that's what his name is. Right? I knew that. Come on. I'm getting hit by that. Come on. Yeah, give me some sub tank energy. Really? Like, really? You have nothing on me. But yeah, so the reason I want to own this on the Super Nintendo is because of the music, I guess. I don't know. And the fact I'm playing it on Super Nintendo and not on my PlayStation 2, which has load times. None of that on here. Don't need load times. I'm, I'm past that. That's, that's what, that was a great thing about cartridge format. So, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And I've gotten into... Oh, okay. That does nothing. I thought that hurt you. I guess that just brings you down. They usually put those over traps. Uh, I've gotten into, like, getting Japanese versions of games, because they tend to be cheaper. <laughs> um, well, this is only my second one now. You've seen my other Odin's collection, the other Super Famicom game I own, which is... Uh, Seeking Densetsu 3. That was a Japanese-only game. Uh, but there are people who have done, uh, like, hacks of uh, carts. Uh, where they have put, like, an English patch on the ROM. So, like, the version I used to emulate all the time. Like, is actually on a... It's on a cart, so you can actually play it on your Super NES. I wanted to own the real thing. So. Uh, but the reasoning behind getting this one... Uh, as opposed to the North American one, is a significant price difference. If you're looking for a Mega Man X3, it's a rare game uh, to find. Uh, this game was made in 1995, which is around the end of uh, the Super NES's time. Not not the very end, but it's, a, it's definitely around there. Uh, so you're looking at a game that was a second sequel, so a third, like the third in the series, the trilogy, and. So you're not going to find... That's, that's going to be difficult to find, first off. Most people have the first or second game. And then, on top of that... Uh, that's about it. But it was like... If you want to own the actual game, just like the cart only, it's like $100. Maybe a bit lower if you're lucky, pretty much. I hate this mini-boss. He's like so stupid. I don't really want to mess this up, though. <laughs> Pretty sure you can own them a whole bunch here. Yeah, got a lot of time to hit them in this phase right here. Okay. But yeah, so that's the reason I wanted to get the Super Famicom game, because this game cost me not a hundred dollars. <laughs> and I don't need English text to play Mega Man X3. Or or Rock Man X3. And the uh I really like the Super Famicom uh, cartridge art. It more so depicts the game. It says something weird that's not anything to do with the game. The cartridge art has Mega Man, or Rock Man, X, um, in like his full upgraded armor with his blaster out. Whereas uh, the North American one isn't like that. I mean, the North American one, I think, for Mega Man X3 is, is pretty cool. Uh, these guys really hurt if you let them use that. So I'm not going to. That, like, that's like, really hurts. But regardless, I, I like the, uh, the Super Famicom art. Just more in your face. This is what the game is. But that's, I guess that's really it for me comparing, like, the games. Like, they're the same game. I'm still playing Mega Man X3. My favorite in the series. What is your favorite Mega Man X game, or Mega Man game in general? Although I'd prefer an X answer because, uh, because I'm playing Mega Man X 3. Uh, just let me know in the comments below, because uh, I'm just curious, to be honest. I mean, I don't know many people. Oh, he's doing fake charges on me now. I don't know many people uh, who like Mega Man X 3 the most. Most like... One, uh, a lot like four. Four is a common uh, favorite. This guy's not even shooting any of his drills at me. He's being really simple right now. 
He hasn't shot them once. Oh, he's going into rage mode now. He has another attack. <laughs> I promise. Oh, oh, I almost faked him out. <laughs> wow, that's like the most I've seen him do of the fake out. He did like four in a row. Anyway, turn around. It was really easy. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know. Because I'm just cur I'm curious to see if other people are also like this game as, as much as I do. To the fact, to the point that it's their favorite X game. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I could keep going, to be honest. I kind of want to take on uh, Mr. Volt Catfish uh, before I finish up here. Because I want to see what his name is. I've been going for 15 minutes now. Yeah, maybe I'll take on Volt Catfish. Look, Tornado Fang. So, same weapon names are exactly the same. They didn't change those at all. There's my password. Copy it down for future use. Alright, we'll take on Volt Catfish. Then we'll end. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe once I lose to him, then I'll end the video. <laughs> I'll let him get the victory. What's his name in this game? Electro Namazuros. Oh man, Electro Namazuros. Oh, he just got ten times more epic. Like considerably more epic. Um, one of the requirements for that zero saber thing I was talking about, though, to get his weapon. Is you have to go defeat Vile with his weakness, and I don't think I have Vile's weakness right now. Uh, down there is a trap that leads to Vile's factory. I'm not going there right now. Cause, like I said, I don't, I don't think he's weak to the Frost Shield. He has two. I think he has two weaknesses. I think it's like the Ray Splasher and the Spitting Blade. I know the Ray Splasher is one, uh, but I don't have that, so. I'm not going to go fight him, because then I won't be able to get Zero Saber, and that will completely defeat the purpose of what I'm trying to do, which is trying to get the Zero Saber without the arm upgrade. Although, like, I don't really... <laughs> I don't really need to get the body piece, to be honest, but you can get the body piece. That's the thing. It's possible to obtain. You just need an upgrade in Toxic Seahorses stage to get it. Alright, let's see if we can't do this without dying. Because this is annoying. I hit jump, I hope I did. Okay, there we go. Well, Catfish, though, or Electro's Namazuros. Oh, man. Um, has a pretty sweet theme. And why are these guys green all of a sudden? What boss did I defeat? May I must be a uh, Blast Tornado, I think. That does that. Anyway, uh, up here. It's just because I'm having fun, I'll keep doing this. Uh, up here, if you have the leg chip, you can do a double up dash, and that can get you the body armor. Uh, normally, you just use uh, Gravity Beetle's power charged up with the arm part, and then you can get up there. But, if you want to break the game a little bit, and you're like, I don't want the arm uh, arm cannon upgrade because I feel I don't need it. Am I really not going to fight Bit? That's a shame. I would have liked to have taken him out. I have his weakness. That's a frost shield. I believe all of the uh, mini, like, halfway bosses, Bit, Bite, and Vile, all have double weaknesses. And I don't have the thingy, so I can't get that. The thingy. Let's refer to it as the thingy. I don't have right armor. Because I took on Tunnel Rhino second instead of first. I could have the right armor. Give me taking on three Mavericks one video. This is, this is like an Ultra Odin's collection right here. This is like when I did Odin's. I, I'm, I don't know. I just keep playing the games, and I just don't want to stop playing. And like, I why I might as well record. Like, there's no problem in having a longer video. People don't have to watch, but they want to watch, and then they're getting a whole bunch of. Uh, Mega Man X3 action, so. Alright, here we go. Volt Catfish. I don't got the uh, arm upgrade like I had when I took him on during my Let's Play. So, he might be a bit tougher. Uh, how many lives do I have? One? 
Okay, well, maybe. If, look, I hate. I hate this guy. He jumped from my charge shot right at the beginning. Uh, maybe if I can't beat him, I'll use the uh, drill on him. The old tornado fang. This guy is so tough. Man, that's impossible to dodge. It's not, but... It's just, he fires us so fast that if you're not close enough to him... Like that... I had to double hit by that. I think he's the only range one now, yeah. And then this part here, this, this, is a, this is the most jerk move in the game. This is like impossible to dodge. And he's like invincible forever. You can get like three damage in on him every round. This guy is so tough without his weakness. There we go. I'm doing not too bad. I always get hit by him though. He's almost dead. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> I I've yet to avoid that yet. There we go, I got him. I managed to get two charge shots in on him. That was, uh, that was close. Last Hornet, I guess, gave me more trouble than Volt Catfish. Sorry, Electros Namazuros. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But, that's one thing about not knowing Japanese. Or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's what the dialect is actually called. It's not like Chinese where it's actually Mandarin and Cantonese. Pretty sure it's just... I don't know, I'm probably... I'm probably so incorrect. The language they speak over in Japan. <laughs> anyway, I get the Tried Triad Thunder. I thought it was Tri Thunder. I think that's in Mega Man Extreme 2. That's another game I've been meaning to do an Odin's collection of. I don't have it anymore. I can't find it. That was a good game, though. Alright, guys, I should probably end it there. <laughs> Taking on three bosses. Uh, I've been Odin's back 33. And I'll see you next time. So until then, bye.